My name is Louie and I work here at Maryfield Garden Center and today I'm going to talk to you about some drought resistant plants. And the first drought resistant plant I want to share with you is sedum. Sedums are basically known as very drought resistant. They are a perennial. They do die back to the ground every year. They are some that are actually ground cover, but there's also uprights as well. They're known for their flowers. They're known for also for their leaves, for variation, and they're known for their texture. Some of the larger sedums that actually attract a lot of butterflies and bees during the uh, summer and fall, and they basically can show some nice winter interest as well. The next plant I want to show you is Epimedium. Epimedium is a perennial, so it dies to the ground every year and comes back. This plant actually grows really well in the shade. Um, one of the reasons why I like it so much is it can grow amongst really large trees. Uh, the leaves are very nice on it. They actually have very thin stems. The flowers on it are very spider-like. And in the fall, the leaves turn into a yellow-orange color, which makes it great for fall interest. The next plant I want to show you is an annual called Lantana. This plant has to be planted every year. Um, it comes in all sorts of different variety of color. It basically is a bee, butterfly, and hummingbird attractive. Once the plant is established, you'll never have to water it. The next plant I would like to show you is juniper. There are upright varieties that mainly grow more straight up. There's also the shrub types that grow up and out. And then we also have the ground cover types that grow close to the ground. These plants are conifers, they're cone bearing. They basically have needles of different colors and they also are extremely drought resistant. So they really thrive in hot, hot sun and very dry conditions. Another plant that I want to show you is called the Japanese Plum Yu. The one reason why I like this plant so much is that it's extremely drought resistant, but it also does well in full sun to full shade. You can have this plant in all sorts of different forms. There's the columnar form, like this one here. There's also a form that runs along the ground. And then we have the typical shrub 3x3, three 4x4 three, four four form. Another thing I like about this plant is that it's a needle. And there also are some varieties of this that the tips of them are a nice, brilliant yellow. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you next time.